Hey guys, Dr. Dobson. Uh, we're going to do a Maryland bridge case in this video. This is a patient that I saw who came to me from out of town uh, for an implant consult. And actually, we took a CT scan. And uh, here is the results of the CT scan. And you can see that there is clearly enough bone to do an implant. We have about 15 millimeters of vertical bone and about 7 millimeters or so of uh, horizontal bone all the way up to the palate. But, um, you know, after you talk about options, you look at the bite as well. This patient had a pretty edge-to-edge uh, -edge bite. There's the model. Talk about options, and I don't think that there's many people that are going to want a implant when you tell them the option of doing a Maryland bridge. And I'm a fan of Maryland bridges when they can be done uh, because they're just so non-invasive and they're quick. You know, you tell somebody we can do an implant, but... It's going to be about four months from the surgery till the time you have a tooth on it. Relatively invasive. There's more risk involved. Whereas Maryland is uh, is is very quick and easy, non-invasive, cheaper. So we did a Maryland here. Um, I don't have the footage of the prep, but basically um, we got her back. We replaced this anesthetic uh, filling on the one one with some Fuji. We prepped the um, lingual surface of the uh, two two and one one. And then we took a scan, which I'll show, and uh, sent a photo with some shade tabs. We got the unit back from the lab, which is a little bit too high value. So we ended up staining it with Mio and installing it. And this is the final result. So we'll get into the footage here. This is the unit as it came back from the lab. And this is, this is the high value result. It doesn't look like it on the model, but it's too white here. So here it is on the model. Um, the preparations looked like this, so we got nice good, uh, nice, good coverage. I like to make these little indexing potholes for additional retention. I haven't had a two-wing PFM bridge fail on me. I've had single-wing ceramic um, Maryland's fail on me, so this is how I like to do um, Maryland bridges. Here's the CT again that we'd never used because we didn't do an implant. And this is the scan output, and you can see the bite is pretty uh, edge to edge. So this is like a perfect uh, Maryland bridge case. There's some calculus on the lower interiors that should be scaled off at some point. But this is the prep, and uh, here's the grayscale. And we'll basically send it to the lab, and we can say that we want the in margins to go somewhere around here on both of the teeth. So lots of uh, surface area for bonding. Relatively long uh, space for a Maryland, but I think this one's going to do well, especially with the bite. So we'll get her in after two weeks after the prep appointment and uh, try the unit in out of the box from the lab and it's too too white so we're going to use Mio which is a product that I like um, to stain um, products and anterior teeth to get them a little bit closer to the surrounding teeth and we're basically just going to eyeball the tooth and then pick a pick a shade this we use shade A and actually I'm going to end up fast forwarding through most of the video here, but this is the material. And we used another one called Clementine uh, for the first uh, application. And then there's a liquid that you can use to kind of spread it out. And this was the first try. And actually uh, we ended up adding a little bit too much and the Clementine wasn't the right shade. So we actually ended up wiping this one off. So here's where we tried it in and saw that we probably added a little bit too much material and we said that the clementine's probably the wrong shade so we're actually going to wipe it off and start again with just shade a so i'll grab the shade a and then add it to the maryland bridge and it takes about 20 or 30 minutes to fire in the porcelain furnace i have a vita smart fire but you can use any any porcelain furnace that has a vacuum pump attached to it lots of used ones uh, available and we're just going to keep adding the material until we get um, we get somewhat close. Here it is uh, side by side. Mm. So there it is uh, in the mouth checking. And uh, it fires fairly true to the... Um, to how it looks uh, pre-fire and we're we're happy with that so we'll basically just walk it over to the furnace and put it in for its 20 minute firing cycle and then once we have fired it it's going to be the 
liquid ceramic will be bonded to the porcelain. And we're just going to take the micro etcher and uh, re, uh, re etch the metal wings. And then we'll be ready to bond it in the mouth. Do a little polish. And then sometimes I'll use this uh, ASAP diamond paste for, uh, for an extra polish. One more little etch and then we'll go back into the mouth. And um, once we tried it in and we're happy one last time, we'll rinse and dry and then use IvoClean to clean the, uh, the surface of the wings. And then we'll rinse that off and dry it. And then that's gonna be ready to go. And then we'll pumice the, uh, pumice the teeth didn't use a rubber dam. We had about a millimeter or two of clearance from the gums to the tooth. Gums did bleed a little bit, but. And then we'll use a cotton roll to push the cheek back. We'll rinse and dry. And then we'll use a tooth primer for the service of the tooth. Scrub it in. Air dry. And then for these cases, I actually like to put a little bit of the resin cement on a micro brush and kind of dab it into the, the prep so that it gets into all the nooks and crannies in our little indexing pothole that we make. And then, uh, and then we'll load up the unit and uh, squish it in. And then that's gonna get light cured. And then we'll clear up the cement and that's going to be it for this case. Just going to skip to the end with the final result here. And there's the before and after.